Welcome everyone. This video is about March 2021 attempt. We will solve it in accordance with latest tax law for tax year 2023. Since we are solving it for September 2023 attempt, therefore we will use 18% rate of sales tax for calculations. This particular video is about question 6 of this attempt. Please read the question carefully. The question is of 16 marks. So you should be able to solve it under 29 minutes. Have a look at requirement of question. You are required to compute sales tax payable or refundable for the month of February. Please note the month. This is your tax period. Let's do some planning. An answer plan will help you organize your answer. In sales tax question, an important information in first para is always mentioned. Find out whether the business is a manufacturing business or not. This information has impact on our solution. So here it is a manufacturer come importer. Some figures are mentioned in table. After this table, the question provides some additional information. You should read this additional information carefully and mark it to the table. Let's do it now. There are total 8 paras in additional information. Some will be independent information, and some will be related to above table. Read this table quickly and then find out which paras are related to this table. So para 1, 2 and 3 have some relevance to table. Write down para numbers in this table, so that you may not skip any additional information. Our planning part is done. Now we come to the execution part. First calculation to finalize is output tax. This is sales tax on sales. Your supply could be in any of following categories. It could be exempt supply, or a zero-rated supply, or it could be some other supply. Sales tax will be calculated at 18%. Further tax will be calculated at 3%. Let's start the figure work. First information is about taxable goods to registered customers. It has relevant additional information. So we will not use this figure directly. Instead, we will first create a working and make required adjustments. Mention 2.75 million in working. Now read relevant additional information. Some sales were made on discount of rupees 75,000. Recall notes slide for value of supply. Sales tax will be charged on discounted price only if your sales fulfills two conditions. First is that the discount should be in accordance with norms of business. And second is that the discounted price must be mentioned on invoice. Move back to your solution. Do you see any violation? Yes. It was a special discount. Which means it was not in accordance with norms of business. Also, the discount was not mentioned on invoice. So, both requirements have been violated. Therefore, we cannot charge sales tax on discounted price. Instead, sales tax will be charged on full price. Add back amount of discount. Rupees 75,000 will be added. Next information is about goods delivered in current month. Payment of these goods was received in advance in the month of November. Recall notes slide for time of supply. Goods are treated as supply in the month in which they are delivered or made available. Time of payment has nothing to do with time of supply. Move back to solution. Payment was received in November 2020. But sales have been recorded in current month in which these were delivered. So it is the correct treatment and there is nothing wrong in it. No adjustment is required in working. Rupee zero will be adjusted. Relevant additional information is complete now. Let's move to next item in table. Taxable supplies to unregistered persons, rupees 1.05 million. Mention it in a separate working. Now read relevant additional information. Some sales have been made to end consumer. Recall notes slide for section 3. A further tax of 3% is charged on sales to unregistered customers. But, federal government has power to specify goods on which further tax will not be charged. Now refer to page 246 of study text. Read this SRO. 
This SRO has been issued by federal government. Further tax at 3% will not be charged on transactions and items mentioned in this SRO. At serial number 5, supply of goods to end customers has been mentioned. Move back to solution and read this para again. Do you see that sales of 130,000 have been made to end consumers? So 3% further tax will not be charged on these sales. Let's deal with it. First, subtract 130,000 from sales to unregistered person. Because further tax will not be charged on these sales. Second, mention the sale separately and charge sales tax at 18%. Next information in table is about exports of rupees 1.5 million. Export is always a zero rated item. So mention rupees 1.5 million under zero rated category. There is some independent information about sales also. Let's talk about it also. Para 4 contains information about some goods used in your own business meeting. Recall notes slide for definition of supply. It says that if any of your manufactured goods are used for private or business or non-business use, it will be treated as supply. Important words to note are, goods produced. If you are using some goods, which you have produced or manufactured yourself, then these will be treated as supply. Move back to solution. In first para, we have already read that it is a manufacturing business. Therefore, if manufacturer is using its goods in its own business meeting, it will be treated as a supply and sales tax will be charged. Mention 150,000 as sales and calculate sales tax at 18% on it. Information about sales is complete now. We can now finalize our workings. Make totals. Mention total in output tax calculation. Calculate sales tax at 18%. Also calculate further tax at 3% on sales to unregistered customers. Output tax calculation is complete now. Let's make totals. Now we come to input tax calculation. This is sales tax on fixed assets and other purchases. Start collecting information from table. Purchase from registered supplier is rupees 1.89 million. Mention it in a separate working because it has some additional information. Now read para 3 of additional information. It tells us about a purchase whose supplier had some problem in maintaining his registration. The commissioner has suspended his registration. Recall study text. Refer to topic of suspension of registration. It has been mentioned that if registration of a supplier is suspended, then the buyer cannot claim input tax on purchases made from such supplier. Read this para carefully. You can pause video to read it. Move back to solution. We cannot claim input tax on purchases made from a supplier whose registration has been suspended. Deduct rupees 100,000 from purchases figure. Next information is about purchases whose payment was made in cash. Recall notes slide for section 73. Purchase above rupees 50,000 must be paid through banking channel. Otherwise input tax on these purchases cannot be claimed. Move back to solution. Do you see a violation here? Yes, payment above rupees 50,000 has been made in cash. Therefore, input tax cannot be claimed. Deduct rupees 85,000 from purchases. Next information is about purchases, which your supplier has not declared in his sales tax return. Recall notes slide for section 8. If a supplier has not mentioned or declared his sales in his sales tax return, then buyer cannot claim input tax on such purchases. Move back to solution. Rupees 50,000 has not been declared by supplier, therefore input tax cannot be claimed. Deduct 50,000 from purchase figure. Next information is about fixed assets. A machine costing 2.5 million has been purchased. Please note that machine has been used for both taxable and zero rated supplies. Mention 2.5 million as cost of machine. We will calculate sales tax on it later. Next information is about sales tax on electricity bill for the month of September. Bill has been paid in October. But sales tax was not claimed till now. Recall notes slide for section 7. If any input tax is not claimed in relevant tax period, 
than it can be claimed in any of six subsequent tax periods. Move back to solution. Input can only be claimed if relevant sales tax has been paid. Please note the payment month. It is October. So input could have been claimed in October. But since it has not been claimed till now, we have to see that how many months or tax periods have passed. February is the fourth subsequent tax period. So yes, we can claim it. Because limit is up to six subsequent tax periods. Mention amount of sales tax in solution. Next information is about a provision for slow moving stocks suggested by auditors. Provisions are created in compliance of accounting principles. It is neither a sale nor a purchase in eyes of sales tax law. So this information has no impact on our solution. Next information is about broth forward tax credit of rupees 415,000. This will become part of this month's input tax. Mention rupees 415,000 as part of input tax. All information from question has been recorded in our solution. Now we can finalize our working for purchases. Make its total. Mention total in solution. Calculate sales tax at 18%. Sales tax is rupees 297,900. Add up all sales taxes of current tax period. Now we move to fixed assets. Calculate sales tax at 18%. Sales tax is rupee 450,000. Now we have two sales taxes of current tax period. Sales tax on fixed assets should be distributed between zero rated and others. Similarly, others input tax should also be distributed between zero rated and others. Let's do the calculations. Do you know how these figures have been calculated? Ask your confusion in comments section. We will be happy to answer it. Now we can easily work out input tax relevant to zero rated items. This input tax will be refunded. Amount of refund is rupees 206,579. Let's now talk about input tax on others. First we will apply limit of section 8b. Add up others input tax and broth forward input tax. Total is 641,493. Recall notes slide for section 8b. Input can be claimed maximum up to 90% of output tax. Move back to solution. Calculate 90% of output tax which comes to rupees 615, 825. Compare this limit. Find out which figure is lesser. 641,493 is the lesser amount. This input tax and input tax on fixed assets will be subtracted from output tax. We get a refund of 244,821. Our working is complete now. But we have to present it in an organized form now. Let's do the cosmetic work. Mention heading stating name and tax period. Mention output tax. Mention input tax other than fixed assets. Mention 90% of output tax. Mention lesser amount and deduct if from output tax. Deduct input tax on fixed assets. Mention refund amount. Some input tax will be carried forward. This will be worked out from difference of these figures. Mention further tax payable. Mention refund on zero rated items. Congratulations. You did it. Your answer is complete now. You can ask your questions in comments section. See you all in our next video.